Hey, so we're uh, we're all packed up, getting ready to go here. Um, got about a three-hour drive to get out there. We'll get some road filming, I suppose. As you can see, a little excited back there. <laughs> it's already in the Jeep, ready to go. So we're gonna head out, start our, uh, our long drive, and see uh, these ducklings. We'll see you there. All the week olds. Yeah. Have oh yeah, yeah. We have uh, our own little flock. Yeah. Um, we got them uh, from Metzer originally, yeah. and then we brought them in, and it's just like every time you look at them, yeah. they're at first you just barely see their nose peeking over, yeah. and you come home from work one day and you're like the whole head's over. <laughs> you're like, wait, I just went to work for one day. Yeah. <laughs> now some of these in here are gonna be white. Did they? And um, we've never, they've always just been these ducks in my blue Swedish or the Swedish duck. And um, for some reason, sometimes we get some white ones. I don't know. Somehow it must be a recessive gene or something. I don't know. But, yeah, the um, silvers? Yes. Like this will be a silver. The, the, the lighter, the I'm lighter ish, good. like tannish. Right. Oh, yeah. Awesome. And we're going to do our best to try to. A black get as many ducks as possible, but we probably want to get two or three or four uh, drakes as well. Yeah. Well, that's one thing I haven't mastered, so you can have at it. <laughs> so one of the things we've noticed heavily yeah. is that the drakes are super calm. Okay. They'll be the guy like this one here on the far left who just sort of stand there checking everything out. Yeah. Oftentimes those turn out to be your drakes because they're, they're very observant. They're yeah. not as... Uh, Spooky? Yeah. Like they don't spook as easily? Yeah.
question. We need to find a pond and uh, drop this boy. Say hi. Oh, look at you and beautiful nails. Well, obviously he lost one nail on the lap. Damn near ran his ass over in the middle of the road. Yeah, I guess. He was almost flat turtle. <laughs> waves are kicking my ass. I don't know which way I'm swimming. There he goes. <laughs> So we made it back home with 20 little ducklings. <laughs> they've been peeping every once in a while, but for the most part, they've been kind of quiet back there. They've pooped up the place. I guess the first, the first uh, thing we're gonna do is introduce them to the uh, pool out here. So they can take a little bit of a bath and clean themselves down. I'm gonna move them over there. All right, so I got them all out of the drum. And they're all hanging out in here. This will work.
is the end of our journey. Uh, we've got 20 ducklings safe and sound back at the house. Getting used to their new digs and cleaning themselves up. Uh, we had a hell of an awesome trip. We had a couple of little side adventures there, saving a turtle off the road. Um, and it's just, it was a beautiful day for driving. It was nice and uh, cool and cloudy. And just made for an awesome drive up through the mountains of upstate. Um, hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.